Hello everybody, it's Baldrick Sodoff here and this is how you learn to train on zombies. This works for all the zombies games. So what you want to do, you want to pick up a machine gun. Or if there's a pack-a-punch, pack-a-punch your pistols eventually. But to get points, what you want is a machine gun. And for this map here, it's the perfect place to train because there's a place to go around. Alright, so if they're coming here, you can always take a... Uh, go through that way. It's fairly straightforward. And this is basically the only strategy to pass farm quickly. Because there's no pack-a-punch. There are perks though, the hardest one's bus depot. So as I said, you wanna... I didn't say that, but... You want to get them all into a group, all the ones that have spawned, and you want to aim for the head mainly. If there's a max ammo, you may as well get it, because they don't come too often. But for other perks like Carpenter, not worth it at all. Not at all, unless it's in front of you. The reason that is, it just slows down the wave, and it doesn't give you that many points. Perks you do want is insta kill makes life a lot faster especially if you play zombies now, as i said if it's in front of you you may as well get it especially now since i'm gonna buy more ammo for the mp5 alright so once they're here you just hold off for a while especially with insta kill Alright, that was a bad mistake, but I think my to kill wore off now. Alright, so when you get hurt like that, just take the safest route you can think of. Don't take any big risks. If you're out of ammo, you can always waste your ammo pistol, uh, your pistol ammo. That wastes fairly quickly, unless you've gotten a max ammo like I have. So it's basically the same process, you just keep on going around and around. This is like a bit like Area 51 in terms of strategy. You can also go around here, that seems to work well. Hip firing close quarters, but if they're coming at you from afar, you can it's always best to aim. As I said, if, this, if you're new to zombies and this video helps, please give it a like and if you want, you can subscribe to my channel. It's fairly new. I've been playing zombies for a very long time, but I've just started YouTube. The zombie community has grown so much ever since I started watching videos, trust me. Alright, this isn't a good high level map at all, because there's no like good guns you can get at all. So we want to finish off a zombie, make sure they don't get you from behind and kill you, especially if it's the last two. The last zombie if it's standing always runs at high rounds. Just want to finish it off, there you go, that's how you learn to train, you just go around farming. Once you get used to it, you should be ready for training in any situation. Hope you liked this video. The random box is there if you want a reliable secondary weapon. Hope this helped, as I said. And remember on solo, always drink a quick revive. I'll show you why. It revives you. I'll die. And it just revives you and it gives you Mustang and Sally. It's a very good gun. I remember the World at War Cult 1911 uh, gave you one uh, pack a punch pistol instead of two, so that's a big improvement. Anyway, guys, hope this helped. Uh, comment, rate, and subscribe to Baldrick's Sort Off. See you later.